Okay, this is going to be a really quick tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build your game. And I don't mean build it as like make the entire game. What I mean when I say build is to make it a different file type so that people without a multimedia fusion can play it. So uh, I made a little thing here, just a little screen saver or whatever you want to call it here. Uh, just some balls bouncing around. It's made took me five minutes not that big a deal um, <clears throat> uh, so to build your game it's pretty simple um, go to first you want to go to applicate click on your application in the workspace toolbar here and then uh, here you have build uh, the build place under the little uh, settings check mark thing um, you have different options on how you want to build it uh, you can build it as a standalone application. Standalone application is uh, basically a um, like uh, how do I explain this? Um, it's standalone basically. It's it you don't need any program to play it. It's not for the internet. It's just uh, you can open it up and it shows the game. Uh, so like. For instance, uh, if you download like an MMORPG game, uh, you'll get a little um, <coughs> you'll get a little uh, desktop uh, thing that uh, it lets you uh, download the game. I mean, uh, play the game. So uh, basically, this is making uh, one of those what that would have a shortcut to, um, and. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired right now. I just got up. Uh, <coughs> so, standalone application is the thing with standalone applications. The problem with them is uh, you can't email them to your friends or anything because mo. I don't know if all email things do, but all the emails I have or tried with other people. Uh, they block standalone applications because a lot of times uh, they contain viruses because they're standalone. So uh, a lot of email peop things don't let you email it. So, but what you can do is you can go on like Mediafire or one of those uh, you know upload ones where you can upload files and people can download them. So you can upload it on there and then email the link to the download on your. Uh, to your friends or whatever, whoever you want to email it to. Um, another build file type is screensaver. Screensaver, it's basically you make a screensaver so you can use it on your desktop or whatever. Um, internet application is uh, basically it's a um, dot ccn. I'm pretty sure it's is the extension. Um, Internet application is for what you want to make if you want to make a vitalized game and if you want to put it on a website or something like Game Builder, you need to put it, you can, if you want to make it a vitalized game, if you want to upload a vitalized game, it has to be an internet application, but if you want to make it a downloadable game, it has to be a uh, standalone application, so, or a zip file, but just make it a standalone application because that's simpler. Um, and then you have the two Java things here. You have Java Internet Applet, which is what you want to do if you want to make Java games, and standalone Java Web Start, which I actually don't know what that is. I've tried it. I can't figure out what you would use that for. But Java Internet Applet is if you want to put a Java, Java game online. Don't use Java because, honestly, it's it really sucks. Like, a lot of time, uh, half the time you make a game, it doesn't even work. And uh, a lot of, not many people use Java anymore because it's not, it's outdated and not very good. Uh, but what I don't have here that you might have in your scroll bar is if you bought the flash converter thing from clickgame.com, it would probably have, uh, I'm guessing, because I, I haven't bought it, so I don't know if it does, but I'm guessing it would have another thing down here that is uh, that would have like a uh, flash game or whatever. Um, and flash games are for any, pretty much, um, almost every uh, uh, games online game site like Noctopla and all that stuff uses flash games so for instance if you want to upload your game on there you have to be a flash game because they don't take vitalize because they don't support that file type 
So I'm going to build as a standalone application. Um, so to build it, you want to go to File, then go go down to Build, and don't click Build All, and don't click Build Install Program. Install Program is for is like um, if you want to make an install program, and you made a whole application for an install program or something. So you want to build application, and then you type in your name. And unless you make a different icon for it, like I made a different icon for jump, because I was I just thought I should do that, because um, uh, it'll have this icon. It's a preset icon for MMF2 games. It'll have the little electricity bolt thing. So if it when you put it on your desktop as a shortcut, that'll be what the shortcut looks like. It'll be a little electricity circle bolt thing. Um, so you could make an icon yourself, and then that would be what the thing looks like on your uh, desktop. So I'll name it um, Screen Saver or whatever. And then, as you can see, Save as Type Standalone Application. Um, and because that's what we need preset over here. So I'm going to save it. And now, if I go to Start My Documents and let me go to my desktop and under MMF2 I have all my games here and if you find screensaver you can play it and it just pops up see great and then you can put it on download or whatever and then uh, for the E for the CCN let me show you how to upload games to game builder which is uh, if you didn't watch uh, I don't know if you watched um, my uh, RPG game part five because that introduced Game Builder in that uh, tutorial. Um, game Builder is a site where you can upload your own games and you can see other games. And the good thing about it is you get feedback and stuff. Um, and you you have competitions and everything. You have all this stuff you can do. Uh, so to submit a game, I'm not gonna actually submit it because this is a stupid game and they comment badly on it and stuff. Um, I'm gonna submit a game. To, to, to do it you go to submit and then here you have downloadable game or application that's that's for uh, the standalone and then you have vitalize game which is for the CCN the uh, internet application you have Java game which is for the Java you have flash game which is I told you about flash um, you have forum topic blog entry all this other stuff uh, 20 event competition entry that's just a downloadable I don't, if you're watching this video I don't know if they still have that going on uh, actually, it's over already. The, all the people have already, uh, they're already judging and everything, so it's a little too late for that, but you can always wait for the next competition. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to show you how to make a Vitalize game. These are all pretty much the same, so I'm not going to go through every single one. Uh, you put your name, your game title, and then you can, so put your game title, and then you have thumbnail and screenshots. Screenshots aren't, uh, neither of these are needed, but you should at least have a thumbnail because otherwise when it, when you go to games and software and you see your game, it'll be just this little, it'll just be the name and there's no picture next to it like all the other games and it won't look, it won't look, it won't stand out per se. So you would go to add image. Um. I'm not going to go through all that, but basically you go to add image, and then you have to click thumbnail. Um, you have to click thumbnail. Um, uh, ch uh, check thumbnail. There's a little box that you have to check thumbnail to make sure you make it as a thumbnail, a uh, picture as a thumbnail when you upload it. And then you click on the picture and the thing, and you upload it to the thing. Um, I'm not going to go through all that, but and then you you created by, and then you put your username. And it makes a link to your username on the thing on the when it shows your game, and then description. Uh, you just write a description. Um, and then here's where you upload your file. You want to make sure when to go back to here and to Multimedia Fusion and check what your width and height were. Height were. Uh, because if you make it wrong, if you don't put in the right width or height. Uh, it'll it'll your game will like cut off or something and you won't be able to see the entire game so make sure you get the right width and height height um, 
and then you choose file so you click choose file and then you go to your you find your internet game and then you just click upload and then you're there and then or you can do a link to your CCN like for instance if you have it for if for some reason you have your game on another site you can just make a link to it um, and then you press save or preview if you want to see if, how it looks first press save and then when you're all done let me show you one of my vitalized games um, see I have some downloadable games vitalized games all that I have one Java game I stopped making Java games after that one because it was terrible uh, let's see um, bounce to the moon let's see See, this is a game I made. Um, as you can see, you have the vitalize thing down here, and I have a little music. I'm gonna turn that off. Um, you have Bounce to the Moon. Uh, it's a game, and it's in. It's actually in the file. If you make a downloadable game, it'll just it'll just say a little. It'll have a little link, like a little button here to download it. Um, see, you have comments down here. Um, I got a lot of comments on this game. Um, so you get all this feedback, which really helps. It helped me make the game better, and I made a new version of it. And I have password and all this stuff. I'm not gonna go through what this game is because I'm I'm not. That's all I'm showing you in this tutorial. Uh, so that's basically it. That's how you build your game. Remember, go to File, Build, and make sure you uh, make the right build type before you build it. Um, so that's it. Bye bye.